So you guys have been asking me to give you a big company example. Let's talk about Chobani, the yogurt brand. So for several decades, the yogurt market had been growing. And this was recognized by the food sciences companies, the large consumer packaged goods companies um, who were making Danon and Yoplait. They saw the yogurt market expanding. So they had their R team of R&D scientists and customer research groups, um, their distribution partner, their sales team, everybody trying to figure out where is the yogurt market going to go next. They put all this money, all this research behind it, and one answer came through loud and clear. Sweet. Customers wanted sweet yogurt. Taste test after taste test proved this. So the uh, large food sciences companies began to put a lot of money behind cookie crumbles and chocolate sprinkles in yogurt and whipped toppings and all of the things you would anticipate from a sweet ice cream sundae. In the meantime, there was a gentleman in New York who was a student. He came from Turkey and he was homesick. Nowhere in New York City could he find the kind of yogurt he was used to when he was growing up. So what did he do? He got his family recipe. He was familiar with the yogurt making process because he had grown up around it his whole life. And he made his own Greek yogurt. As he began making uh, more and more of this yogurt for himself, his friends in, in the community uh, were excited to have access to something that they also missed. So they began to ask him if he could make some for them as well. He began to kind of think, well, if, if uh, my friends are asking for this, there might be a broader market. So he approached some of the niche grocery stores in the ethnic markets in the New York area, and they agreed to take on his yogurt and to sell some in small batch quantities. So soon the broader Greek and Turkish community were, were buying his yogurt from these yogurt stores, but then something interesting happened. He found that he was getting customers who were not Greek, not Turkish, and had no experience with Greek yogurt. But they were drawn to the creamy texture, to the tart taste, and to the health benefits of Greek yogurt. This was something that, the, that caught the food sciences corporations completely blindsided. All of a sudden, the Danons and Yoplait were seeing their shelf space on the market, in the grocery stores significantly erode as Chobani first had a couple of, of flavors out, and then more, and then bigger, and kind of expanded and blew that whole market up. So what was it about this founder of Chobani that allowed him to see that the Greek yogurt market was a potential opportunity? Did he have some kind of predictive, fortune-telling powers that these large corporations lacked? No, he acted effectually. He started with the assets he had on hand, with the knowledge of making Greek yogurt and the things that were important to him, grew out through his community, and had his idea validated by actual customers over time. And that's what led to the eruption of this Greek market um, for, the, for the yogurt business today. So let's talk about the lessons that we've learned from that and how they can be applied here in, in your organization. <laughs>